All right, I'm here with Melissa Fitzgerald. You might remember her as Carol on the West Wing. It was Eleanor. Eleanor who? It was Eleanor Bartlett. Hello, everybody. <laughs> All right, I, I wrote a West Wing walk and talk. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, so wait. But can I read it Yeah, first? read it, read it for, first. Let's stand over here. Carol, President Bartlett fell off his bike again. Tell CJ to work on a statement. Got it. But then who's gonna pick the turkey to pardon? Sam, Josh, Toby, can they do it? Um, Sam's on a lunch date. With the call girl? I hope not. Josh is busy with Big Block of Cheese Day, and Toby's at the zoo with Huck and Molly. Okay, let's just have Charlie do it. Good choice. What's next? Love it, love it. <laughs> But Melissa, tell people what you're doing now. Oh, um, well now I work at National Association of Drug Court Professionals. We work in justice reform. We make sure that people who are involved in the criminal justice system due to a substance use disorder, mental health condition, trauma, receive treatment instead of incarceration. She's busy, she's doing something, she's calling people, she's texting people, what's going on here? Oh my God, I'm trying to get this prompter up. We don't have internet access right now, Ralph, so I'm working on that. Then I have to go into my email, copy the script, and put it into the prompter. Because this is a new prompter it's system. The new, brand And right new. there, that is your problem. Yeah. Deborah Duncan's getting a feel for the room, a feel for the show. What's your pre-show process? To greet every one of our hosts. I mean, I'm, I forgot I was a host. <laughs> They're basically like my co-hosts on the show, right? Yeah. To greet every one of our guests and kind of go into depth about what we're talking about. I find that it makes them more comfortable because sometimes you're like, what is she going to ask me? It's like, I'm going to ask you about what you know. Handsome JJ. How's it going, handsome JJ? I don't know who you're talking about. I just look like I just woke up. Handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna ask people something that has nothing to do with today's show uh, because it's fun. What's your favorite candy and why? It's a Mexican candy called Pelon, P E L O N. Pelon. Pelon. And it's like a tamarind based candy with lots oh. of sugar. And I just love it because it reminds me of my childhood in Mexico. Love it, Pelon, okay. It has to be jelly beans. Okay. Uh, and because of the variety. Mentos. Mentos. <laughs> the fresh maker. <laughs> I love Snickers because they're delicious and I love the caramel. Twix, because it's crunchy and has a caramel flavor. Well, maybe like a junior mix, it makes me think of when I used to go to the movies in my hometown. Now, would you buy them there? They're like $20, or do you sneak them in? Oh, sneak them in. You go to the Kmart right next door, and they're like a dollar. I was going to say your <laughs> peppermint patty, so. Oh, great! Oh, mint yeah. chocolate, yes. I would also sneak them in. <laughs> I'm here at Texas Mattress Makers. We're about to do a shoot with Deborah and the owner of Texas Mattress Makers, Yuval. And I have a very important role today. My job is uh, not only to sit here and time out the segment, but to pull the wagon. Yeah, it's a pretty big responsibility. World traveler. Okay. Uh, Where'd yes. you get back from? I went to Germany again. You were there, weren't you? I was in Switzerland, oh, not, in not Switzerland. far away. <laughs> Yuval said he needed an extra hug. I am here for that hug. Yeah. Okay. I'll back. do it for you, Ralph. All right, thank you. <laughs> look, look at the camera. Okay, Frank, the, I mean Frank. Frank, you see, I, I see him well, in Ralph, my brain. Go, the day you get to be this close to me, the oh, now if you figure that one out, then you can get a hug. What, what, is it, what does that mean? Can you just, just don't worry about what okay. it means. Very few people in the world knows what that means. So I can put that on the vlog? You can put that on the vlog. This is an honest moment. I'm at Living Designs Furniture right now, which is the Texas mattress maker's sister company. And this is where our great day Houston crew uh, set up their offices after Hurricane Harvey because we had no place to go. Yuval Meichler was kind enough to let us hang out here. And we were actually upstairs. We're going to go there right now. This is where our offices were. Where was your desk, Deborah? Okay, so um, this is where our offices were. But this is kind of one of those things like um, first come, first serve. So I was like one of the first in here. And I had a desk and it was all set up and then I missed one day and I show up and our boss is sitting in like in my in my space. And this is what so, you all did. Come on, Ralph. So all the desks are all out here, yeah? But then all, yeah. All, all the folks mm -hmm. are here. And then Miss Deborah gets this office. Obviously a little cleaner, but this corner office. office with a view. Yes. So that's what y'all thought was really working in here. I was really planning out my next my next sofa design. <laughs> 
It's three times I've spoken a different language okay. for you. I have to go to my other job now, the TV job. Is yeah. The, yes. Are we going to hug it out or a handshake this well, time? Well, hug it out and a handshake. Oh. I'm going to knock the hell out of you. <laughs>